Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play Medieval 2 Kingdoms The Byzantine Campaign, yes we're back again. It's been over a week since the last update, I do apologise for that but I had some things going on in real life which kept me away from LPing and uh, I'm back now so you don't have to fear any longer. Off camera I have done my bits and bobs in the lands, built what is required to be built Recruited what was required to be recruited, and now I head back to the to the main crux of the campaign at this moment in time, and that is the war against Turkey. Yes, the war against Turkey is is raging on, as you can see. Last time we left off, I captured Baghdad, if I remember. I also captured a settlement over here and give it to uh, give it to the Antiochans. Yes, it was Raqqa, and uh, we gave it away for a little bit of cash, and uh, everything was working out well. So, what shall we do next? What should be the plan of action here? We have a lot of our armies, six of our armies surrounding Mosul. Is that required? Do we require to have six armies surrounding Mosul? I don't think we do. It's a waste of troops, especially when there are lands to conquer elsewhere. Namely, over here, there's a bit of green, I've noticed. And uh, Kermansha is another land that the Turks hold. How heavily fortified is Kamansha? We don't know at this moment in time, so we're going to send two uh, you, um, agents across to to spy that out for us. We can't uh, take a spy across there, he's sort of staying in the area. Where to, sire? Without a trace. Could probably take him a little bit further. Investing. About there. There's a road that goes, so I think it's probably somewhere here. There's a mines there and there's a path going down, so it's probably around about here is the, this commander. We'll see how heavily fortified it is with the spy and then we'll take it back. Okay, I've changed my mind. Of course, we have Tukrit fully garrisoned and sat pretty waiting for us to kick its doors down and announce our arrival and then raise the city to the ground as we do. Uh, speaking of other Turkish lands that are slightly out of view, of course we have Kufa, which we're going to recruit a small force in Baghdad to come down and take it. A small force of spear militia. I'm going to insult them. I'm not going to send my best troops after you, I'm going to send my pathetic spear militia to crush your damn settlements. And then of course they also have a little settlement here somewhere. Uh, where is it? I will, uh, there, here. I can see a little bit of green there. That's Basra. I don't know where Basra is in relation to the map, but it must be somewhere in this vicinity. So there's a couple of settlements off camera. Of course over here we have Damascus. It was fully garrisoned, no longer fully garrisoned, so I wonder if Turkey are off trying to take another settlement or two off camera. So to finally quell this small insurrection here near Jerusalem. I'm going to send another family member. Ionus Komnenus. Yes, the, you see the grandson of the great grandson. I lose track of these things, of the great Emperor Manuel. I think he is the, uh, the grandson. Yeah, he is the grandson. Son of Komnenus. I think he's also good in command, if I remember right. Three, not bad. Anyway, he is going to take the full garrison out of uh, Iconium, onto the boats here, and he's going to sail around. Do, 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 do. Hello, folks, to here. March through military access lands of Antioch, and boom, smash it down and give it back to Antioch. Or maybe give it to Jerusalem. They could do with a few more lands. They're struggling at the moment due to the war with Egypt. So that is the plan. Again, I keep changing my plans, but uh, yes, it's overriding is the same. So the first order of the day, I have noticed that the leader of the Turkish faction the Sultan is will here. Be most pleased at your demise. Sultan Inal. Hardly a great faction leader, but hey ho, what can you do? I'm going to take a pop shot at him with one of my assassins. Now these assassins are proven to be not as fruitful as I would have hoped. Anyhow, I will take the 5% chance to kill. Name the target, and it shall be removed. Nine, poison or strangulation. Ah. It's a tough decision. Assassination misses its target. Well, it's a bummer when that happens. But we must soldier on to the first battle of the day. As I say, having all these armies sat here doing absolutely nothing is a total waste of time. There are further lands to conquer, and therefore, this man here is not doing anything. Trifleos Glikis. 
Your orders, noble one. Chief Yos Kiki says 46. And he's got some work to do because there is a sultan here that requires dispatching in the most brutal of fashions. Command me. Alexios is 59. He hasn't got much years left in him before he has to uh, kick the bucket. So I think we're going to take him off. Who do I face? I think he's out of moves. He's out of moves. I am your ally, dear <sighs> friend. I don't know what he's going to do before he dies. Try and take him off quickly down towards here, I think. Try and capture one more settlement before he uh, passes on. But anyway, Trivalius Glickis. Yes, Lord. Take down the Sultan. God will be with us, men. Go battle. And nullify their reinforcements for now. We'll pick him off one at a time. God will help the faithful prevail. We attack! I love this music. I am doing a wee dance here. Just uh, obviously you can't see me. Right, it's a bit windy. Don't like this. Let's wait. We wait patiently for the conditions to be like this. Do you have a speech for us? Mighty general, or do you not? Can you not be bothered today? Men speak well of me because I do not throw lives away. I will not use false modesty and deny the charge. Indeed, I say proudly that it is true. And further, I will give you victory if you have the hearts to fight like men possessed when I ask it. Our foes today are masters of cruelty. These Turks doubtless have plans to torture us all, but they are fools to believe that they can prevail against the noble-hearted such as you worthy men. Our lack of spears must be made good by our courage, and I see the enemy have many horsemen. All the better for them to run from us. And so at the last I say to the enemy general, Do you want to fight? You and whose army? Well, well, you're so tough with all your cheap flusers at your back, are you? <laughs> He's off again. God, these generals, they go off on right to some right bloody tirades. <laughs> I was about to say, not quite as good as the ass weasel speech that we had last time, but hey, he redeemed himself at the end there. You wanna fight, mate? You wanna fight? Units, I wait my own Typical English there. You wanna fight? What are you looking at? You looking at me? Right. Apparently the enemy have lots of horses, but uh, should we be worried about that? We do have some spears. When you said lack of spears, we have three units of spearmen. That'll have to do, I'm afraid. Okay. The usual formation that I adopt. Some people don't like it, but it's, uh, it's something I've just sort of lived with for so long. Archers to the front in the loose formation. And, uh... There's my infantry troops. Just get them in behind. Not too far away. In case they get... The archers get charged. The uh, infantry will take up the slack. Okay, there we go. And then we have a couple of the old spearmen on the flanks here, in case uh, enemy horses come down the sides. Another spearman here for the same purpose. Excellent. General, sir? Sort of stood here overseeing the situation and then the horses we have uh, should have four but I think we've only got three this is a what rather bag tag uh, affair that I have set up here I'm gonna put my horse on one side bit of a risk but I'm gonna keep them together I am the attacker I don't think the techs are gonna come towards me so I can make the maneuverability okay so we have the elite guard archers for the first time in the battlefield, I think, so it's going to be interesting to see how they uh, conduct themselves today. Right, what are these troops here? Do they have... they don't have, fortunately. They don't have... Uh, oh, they do have it. They don't have artillery. So that would be my primary concern, would be to take care of those. 
Now, uh, pathetic missile cav here it has hardly up to my standard of the Varduia t t t t t t t Oh, shoot lights. Missiles are getting chucked in here. Yes, they are. Yes. I see the deaths happening before my very eyes. Okay, so a bit of a skirmish battle here, which we will only win. And my horse archers are decimating the enemy cavalry straight away, which is good. And then we take them in for the kill. We then aim to get in behind the enemy with our horses. And then it'll be game over. They march away, they rout very quickly. We got him. Right, here we go. Let's get the horse archers peppering the backs of the enemy infantry. Here we go, boys! Weaken their resolve. They are charging uphill, which will only work against them. Okay. I'm just going to pause it here. Just uh, bear with me as I move my archers in behind the infantry now. The second phase of the, of the, uh, of the campaign is on. The, the, the battle is underway. Thank you. Would you like to run? Would you like to run, people? Would you like to run in behind? Archers? Getting caught here. Damn it, I always lose a few archers doing that. So this is why people berate me. You should have your archers behind your infantry. Behind! I don't know. Sorry, folks, sorry about that. Right, where's. I've lost all track now of what's going on. The uh, enemy's uh, bodyguard. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset. But our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. I'll keep them on the skirmish now. Just pepper the enemy's uh, heavy bodyguard cavalry. Right. Let's get them enveloped. Who are these guys? Spearmans? There we go. Just envelop the enemy from the flanks. Get them uh, surrounded and get their morale broken. Spear militia, go after the uh, general's bodyguard. I think having these guys uh, firing is not going to be good. Our general might want to put his head through over here. Just uh, say hello. Say hello to my little friend. In fact, charge. In fact, no, charge these archers. They are annoying me. Go, 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 go. Only half the enemy force remains. Get the spearmen on the horses. Get my horses on the uh, archers. It's all good, it's all good, it's all going well. Oh, they're taking some uh, of their cavalry against me. The enemy king flees. God has smiled upon us. We Attack while his forces are in disarray. Don't let him die, don't let him go. Chase him down. The army is routing. Run them down, the cowards. Do, 
understand them in. I want their heads on pikes! Get out of my face. Oh, who are these guys? Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight! We must push our advantage! Run them down! Keep running them down, boys! Look at these guys! <laughs> Shepherding the enemy! Yes! Down he goes! The enemy Sultan is down! <laughs> oh god, peppered with arrows against a beautiful sunrise! Oh, glorious! <laughs> you Turkish dogs. Ah, just a, just a few few a few stragglers left, which we shall pepper with arrows here. Yes, yes. Let's play fun. Let's play a few games with these two. How many arrows can you take before you die? Ooh. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. Bit, bit of a uh, collateral damage there. So we did lose a fair few men. Due to my own stupidity, I lost most of them were archers, in fact. A few horses. <coughs> Excuse me. The Byzantine spears lost one experience. Is that possible? How did you lose experience? The variety is here, causing the most casualties, doing us proud, and gaining experience in the process. 